Hey, I'm Cliff. Welcome to the Colder Law Podcast. Welcome to Washington Law. This podcast is separate from my role as an attorney. However, it is my job to educate and teach and to put it into context for you. And today, we're going to be talking about Gordon Ramsay. And I know if I'm, I'm not alone on this, but I, I'm watching a tremendous amount. I'd say I've probably watched every single episode at this point. And uh, what I learned from, from this was some pretty interesting things, that, some things that I can apply to my business and some things that I think you should probably apply to yours. And um, we'll just start off with the first one, which is uh, don't drink behind the bar. <laughs> so this obviously will only apply if you're running a bar. Uh, if you're running a restaurant, you don't serve alcohol, this wouldn't apply to you. And for any other business, it probably wouldn't apply to you unless you're um, handling alcohol. Uh, but if you're, if you're doing it, it's not worth it. It's not worth it to drink and run your bar at the same time. Uh, first of all, impossible to run a business like that because you need all of your faculties to run the business. But number two, you're going to lose your um, handler's license. And so uh, there was a case in where, where I live, a local bar, and I couldn't believe how much money they lost. It, it, they reported was they lost over $100,000 because one of the bartender um, had uh, lost their license because they were drinking behind the bar. So don't do that um, for number one. Number two, check off the orders as you go. Now this seems pretty simple, like of course, what other system would you put into place? But what you will wanna do is when you have the orders come in and you make the food, you cross the order off or you put a big check mark, you know, Gordon Ramsay says check it or cross it out. And uh, that's just a really good idea. Um, and you can that apply to, to any business. Uh, anytime you get a task done, you're gonna wanna cross it off. Otherwise, you're always go, going back and looking and checking to see if that task was actually completed or if it was um, you know, completed all the way. When you cross it off, you know this task is done. Number three, simplify the menu. Now, this is critical um, for Gordon Ramsay and he does this like every single time, every single episode. They have like 100 um, type of things and. It, Com, uh, compresses it all the way down to, you know, a handful of items that they can do really, really well. Local items that they can usually get, uh, you know, from the local farmer's market that they can implement into their menu. Number four, kind of ties into number three, um, and that is quality ingredients, fresh ingredients. And if you can think about this for any business you have, you're going to want to provide the customer with quality. And if you don't provide the customer with quality, then um, what's going to happen is they're going to uh, not want to go, you know, they're not going to come back and they're not going to refer your business. And if you're running a restaurant, you give them a quality product and you're going to uh, separate yourself from all the other restaurants. Okay, number five, do market research, listen to your customers. So many times they're, they're in an area where they're in a part of the United States or part of the Europe or wherever he's at and the customers like a certain type of food and a certain type of food is popular and the, and the restaurant owner is uh, doing what the restaurant owner likes themselves or the customer, uh, restaurant owner thinks the customer is going to like. And the customers will just tell you. Um, they can tell you by the reviews, by what they, by what people are ordering off the menu, and you should listen to them and, and make decisions based off of that. Number six. Um, <laughs> this also seems kind of obvious, but make sure that you can be seen from the road, from the main drag that people are coming down. Um, make sure you have good signage and people can see this is a restaurant and we're proud to be the restaurant, the local restaurant you come here to eat. So many times they, they have to completely redo the front of the restaurant um, because they can't even tell that it's a restaurant when you drive up to it. Okay, now this goes back um, to number two or three, but number six is do one table at a time. And you could probably apply this to any business, which is just take care of one customer at a time. And you know, back to the checkoff, check off all of the items for that table, make sure everything's together and send it all out at the same time and do one table at a time. And that's gonna ensure that you are doing a good job for every single customer. And everybody's getting their food about at the same time so they can enjoy the meal. You don't have cold people, uh, cold food, waiting for people who are gonna turn cold on you and are gonna not, not have a good time at the restaurant. Um, and then some people might be eating all of their food and then some, uh, while other people are waiting for their food. So while you're running your business, make sure you're, you're, you're taking care of each customer, one customer at a time. Um, and then number seven, 
And finally, clean the kitchen <laughs> before Gordon Ramsay comes. He is going to destroy your dirty kitchen. So, uh, almost every single episode, it's like, well, you know, how are you even cooking quality food when the, you know, the restaurant itself is disgustingly dirty? Um, and that goes all the way from, you know, the ovens to the day old food to, you know, old food to how you take care of the food. So, you know, and they can, that also applies to all types of businesses. You got to make sure that your work and, and what you're doing is ready and, um, and yeah, that you're, you're, you're focusing on that. So, um, yeah, thanks for watching and click the like button if you thought this was interesting and you like Gordon Ramsay. Um, that would mean a lot. So thanks for um, uh, this again and we'll see you next time.